All right, so I'm so hyped up. Uh, at first, I was thinking of getting a PS Vita, the orange version, because it looks dope. And of course, because it has Netflix, and I want a portable gaming system to watch Netflix instead of being at home, you know, when I decide to go out sometime. So, you know, I might get a, a PS Vita later on, probably on Black Friday, or I'll probably get both systems, because meaning both systems as the Nintendo Switch, because I clearly heard, well, clearly heard and saw that Nintendo Switch has uh, new upcoming games and clearly they are wow man they're they're clearly throwing so many games this year uh, next month and during summer so I'm pretty glad and happy so like I was saying I'm pretty hyped I'm pretty excited for these new games, these new upcoming games, especially the horror uh, games that I just realized and I'm barely watching. So as you can see, as the front cover, we have Resident Evil 7. I just can't believe um, the PS4 graphics going into a small device, which is a Nintendo Switch. I honestly didn't thought the Nintendo Switch was that superior as the PS4, but I guess not. Um, I actually watched one of the uh, trailers before where I was so excited about Modern Warfare 2. They're bringing up so many games like uh, Red Dem Redemption 2, uh, Dead Space, um, uh, Grand Theft Auto uh, 5. I was about to say 4, but it's actual 5. And um, these other games, like, wow, who, who would actually expect so many good graphics on a Nintendo Switch? Because the Nintendo Switch is mostly about, you know, like, um, Mario and the Nintendo 64 games, you know, those type of games. So we're actually going to click and play this video and see what games we have for the Nintendo Switch. Peggy 18. Okay, so far as I'm watching, we're actually receiving every Resident Evil on the Nintendo Switch. That's pretty cool. That's awesome right there. I, I can't honestly wait till I get the Nintendo Switch to make gameplays, walkthroughs, and just show it off. And just be so excited and happy with it. Because literally, they are bringing so many good games on a portable system which I'm more into that than a house uh, body console like the Xbox the PC or the PlayStation 4 um, I'm more into portable so I'm pretty glad that they're bringing out so many good games so I'm pretty hyped up 
and just literally can't wait. So we have this game up server, which let's just see what it is about. Lazarski, you there? Dispatch. I got an emergency here. Can anyone hear me? If they told me what the world would become, I would not have believed them. KPD? Anyone in there? I am what they fear. A corporate tool of oppression. If you don't remember to access you, to gather evidence, to dredge up whatever is hiding in the darkest corners of your mind. That game clearly reminded me as of uh, most likely Matrix. Matrix is those type of uh, movies, games, that story that is all about the future, is all about the past, is about the life, the government. Basically, the government is darkness. And yeah, of course, you know life is not really about technology it's mostly about just you know becoming a friend and a wife and this and that but i don't know it's just so twisted so let's continue before i even say other much things that don't really make sense so uh, it seemed like it was a Japanese game you know uh, that's it that I actually just got from that video uh, who knows what kind of story they'll be having by that game but apparently we have Resident Evil 7 by Hazard I barely knew how to even pronounce that but this game is a legend I love it uh, for the reason that I say the legend is because I just really Love it, you know. Go tell and looks amazing it's, it looks so realistic wow it got me jaw dropping The feeling of outcast. I was. I actually saw this trailer a long time ago, 
I'm not sure for what device, for what console, but I watched it and I honestly didn't like it. 16 years old and I was afraid, always afraid. Holy wow, we actually gonna be having Resident Evil 4 for the Nintendo Switch. That is pretty dope. Wow, this is a classic. as a simple investigation of some bizarre murders in the Right, so that that's it of this video that was pretty dope that we're going to be having mostly all resident evils on the nintendo switch i am so excited i am so excited to buy my second nintendo switch because apparently i sold my nintendo switch the one that i did a, an unboxing which was not that quite of uh it was not quite detailed it was not quite how I wanted to, but uh, the second uh, review or unboxing that I'll be making once I get, once I buy my second uh, Nintendo Switch, I'll be making a better quality, quad, 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 quality. I can't even pronounce words because I'm dry. Qual quality, better looking unboxing how about that so that's it of this video uh thumbs up uh comment below which games are you really excited for uh the most game that i'm excited for the nintendo switch i know is going to be a really hard with the controls is the modern warfare 2 and um gta 5 you know what i think i think most games that are upcoming that are switching it to switch i'm pretty hyped you know except the little cartoony ones i'm not really into cartoons i'm more into the most realistic games the better graphics the more violence the more entertainment the more action that's all about me so therefore deuces gotta go bye